All right, hello and welcome everyone. Today's video is part of the ongoing effort to expand the public archive, which you can check out at brosime.com. I'm developing the public archive to be an all-in-one, easy-to-use guide for new and returning Warframe players. If you'd like to get early access to the project notes in progress or to provide feedback or new ideas for the public archive, you can become a member on Patreon or additionally subscribe on Twitch. Thanks so much to all of my current subs and patrons for supporting the project. Now let's jump into the video. So we have new player Neja. This is super accessible. Also worth noting on this build, Stretch and Augur Reach. Normally, by this point, you would have removed those in favor of more strength by subsuming over Divine Spears with Roar. However, in this case, I'm assuming that you didn't go into Helminth and you didn't like feed the Helminth Rhino, even though it, by this point that stuff is easy. I'm assuming you haven't done it. So a little bit of a hard mode on that because you probably, you probably should have done that by now. We are assuming that you're going to do Deimos. The reason we're assuming you're going to do Deimos is because it is pretty much required for progression through the new war and stuff. So you need to do it anyway. The sea -Doo is the weapon for fighting both Liches and Sisters. Just in general, it's the most accessible thing. And we are using a poverty build on it. This is poverty. Uh, notable things on here. Hunter Munitions does not help that much against the Sister. You can just drop it if you need to. Everything else here is really easy to get and 100 munitions also is not that bad but it is helpful uh this is a two forma build i believe regularly uh because i'm pretty yeah i'm pretty sure this is regularly a two forma build uh but yeah this is uh not that hard to put together chilling reload might be a little hard to get but like you also could just use like an unleveled like cold dual stat here and it's not going to change that much so th things are good here super cheap end uh, you do need rank five on Deimos. Rank five on Deimos, not hard to get. It's the best open world. It has the best rewards for doing it. That includes the Sea-Doo. You should be doing it. The Atomos we're using is the same as the Kubalich poverty build. This is not very helpful in this fight, honestly. This is like a generally good weapon. By this point, it could be safely assumed that you're going to do Liches before you're going to do Sisters because you might accidentally run into a Lich and get that stuff done. And by that point, you'll be able to just do them, right? We could assume you have a Kuva new core. I am choosing to not assume that you have a Kuva new core, even though by this point, you definitely could do that. If you guys saw like how poverty that Kuva Lich build was, you definitely could have a Kuva new core by this point. We're also bringing the Zorus. Uh, the Shattering Impact stuff doesn't work on Sisters. So we're using the Zorus not to fight the Sister because it's not great for that. Uh, but this is to fight everything else the Sister comes with. We have a super difficult Sister because they are magnetic, which means they can create a copy of us. And also there's the other Warframes they have as backup. All of those things, vulnerable to dying to the Zorus. The Zorus is really good at dealing with all of that nonsense. I would highly, highly advise it. You will have this because the quest in order to get this is required to generate a sister. So there's no excuse. You will have the Zorus. This is the new player build for it. Uh, we are assuming that you have a decent amount of Xenoric because you're kind of going to need it by this point. The only thing that we're assuming you have is Wellspring. Temporal Drag is so good against the Sisters and makes them way less annoying, but we're not going to assume you have it. Just having Wellspring is more than enough, and you probably don't need Max, although it will be extremely helpful. Uh, other stuff in here, uh, you're going to want a Vulpa. This also comes from Deimos. This is like a full on Vulpa, but like there's a no build one that you, you, you can put like almost nothing in these and like they will work. The only actually important stuff in this build is Fetch, um, Panzer, Devolution, and then uh, Sharpen Claws. Those are the only three mods you actually need in here. Everything else is a bonus and isn't going to matter like almost at all. Like Viral Quills like, doesn't do anything here. Um, but Panzer Devolution, make sure it stays alive. Fetch, make sure it picks stuff up for you. And then Sharpen Claws will allow this to strip the armor off the sisters because that does work, which will save you so much time if your pet will go and do that for you, which is a little bit based on randomness, but you definitely should do it. Uh, and then besides that, this is the bigger part. This is We're going to be using the Void Rig for this fight. The Void Rig is incredibly helpful for this fight. We are using a nickel and a dime. We are using a nickel and a dime. This is a Void Rig where I'm assuming you do not have a reactor for them. And these are the mods. Flow and Streamline. Not technically required, but good lord, I would suggest them. They do need you to be max rank with Lloyd in order to get Streamline and Flow. That means that they're guaranteed as long as you do that progression. But they are infinity helpful because the energy max and the ability efficiency, along with the ability efficiency of continuity, is all 
amazing and i would highly highly advise it uh vitality is just for surviving so yeah these these four mods really what i would suggest uh if you can do more than this awesome even adding in like the shield mod is going to help and ideally if you really want to go way and above and beyond you can add rage and you can add repair which is going to make the fight super infinite easy and not a problem similarly whenever you get a void rig you will have a mausole on this is the budget build for a mausole on all of these are easy to get i know automatic trigger might look like it's kind of hard to get but automatic trigger has a 40 percent drop rate from exterminate so it's really easy to get uh the rest of these are basic mods that are super easy like no problem at all rubido line barrel literally gets given to you you're gonna have the vast majority of these mods i have left room for a mod if you do happen to have it but i won't be using it uh, and that is hollowed bullets hollowed bullets 100 should be in this slot and will fit in this build with no additional forma this is a zero forma build however it is notable that this is a two percent drop rate if you have it sick use it awesome if you have another dual stat sick use it awesome but i'm assuming you don't uh for the purposes of this the exact same build is on the archivex this is also a zero forma thing uh, obviously i've put two forma into this but these two are the slots that i've done same exact build same exact deal there will be room for hollowed bullets if you had hollowed bullets you would use hollowed bullets plain and simple so that's what's up with these builds obviously you can go way above and beyond with these and do like way more powerful stuff but you need the void rig in order to do the new war so you're going to eventually get these two things so I think using these for the sister is not a big deal these things are going to continually be made easier to get over time just based on what Rebecca has said as like the new creative director so I think they're safe to suggest here uh also there are a bunch of other frames that you could theoretically use for this like Nyx people are talking about Baruch in chat and like there's, there's plenty of other frames you could be the reason why I suggest ne Neja is because Neja is a frame that I would suggest for every player that is just generically good they're insanely easy to get they just come from clan research there's no RNG involved that's the reason why we're doing Neja and Neja is just super versatile and great all right now for our lich our adversary is Lorena Flacilia this lich so is pretty high end and what I mean by that is that resistances corrosive puncture slash gas immunities radiation we are going to be using viral heat in order to fight her she is a magnetic lich a bunch of these weapons are good as magnetic and magnetic is by far the hardest element to fight because they can create a copy of you uh and by creating a copy of you you basically you have to fight yourself so you have to be able to kill your warframe which can be quite difficult in addition to all the other warframes that they just automatically get as backup with all that being said let's go kill her Look what I got. A sector. I'm gonna head out oh, over here to the confrontation perfect. in terms of railjack stuff I will have a video on railjack coming soon uh railjack very low requirements for this mission the railjack part of this is not hard Like I'm, I have a very overkill railjack for this, but the railjack part of this is super easy. It is not a big deal at all. Like some basic stuff, you will need, you will require intrinsics five, but it is, it is generally speaking, it's it just super easy railjack stuff. It's not a problem at all. I don't think you're gonna have any issues. Yeah, we just need to destroy these ships and then pop some security nodes, which is not hard. Uh, also, if you have Fotors, they can break the shield of these things from the front, which is super helpful. One of the two down. Make ready the next cruise ship. <laughs> With a kiss. Gonna blow up these nodes really easily. Fill the sky with fighters like an angel fire. We'll pop this shield, which you can like go around the sides for if you just have regular guns, it's not a big deal. Votor is ideal though, as your main guns, I would highly advise them. Crew of the wood. We have a fire 
And we have a fire, which is slowing down my charge. Not a big deal. Deliver Mr. Parvos's wrath on trails of fire. Fire. Okay. All right. Now, with those objectives out of the way, we can just jump in. Plan in, and we're ready to go fight the sister. And highly advise that you you have Zenerik and are popping Zenerik and such, because if you're not, then uh, it's, it might be a little rough for you. We stand with okay. You. So the main thing here is that we're going to use our Necromech right away. I do have my Necromech on my gear wheel, uh, but it's bound to a keybind, so I can just like dump it in whenever, which I would highly advise you also do. Uh, where is the thing? Pack is down here to open this door, if I remember right. Wait, is she just in this first room? No, 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 that can't be right. Is she? Did it bug out? Oh, no, here it is. Jeez. I was like, where is this thing? I thought it was downstairs. There we go. Hack that. Head over here. Things are going to change around here. Oh, indeed, duty. Invisible just because of a Parazon mod that'll wear off momentarily. All right, here we go. All right, open this up. There she is. We're in a not ideal arena. This one can be really annoying, especially if your Lich can teleport, which ours can. So this is this is pretty much the worst possible case scenario, but here we go. All right, drop the Necromech in. Activate R2. Activate R4. Blow up the allied Warframes that are, like, being used here. Spectres destroyed. She has only herself now. Got rid of the dog and everything. Which is good. And then there she is. So ideally, you will use the mech as much as possible here. Because there's the copy of me. Copy of me will die to the mech. And we are just going to chunk her as much as we can with all of our energy in the mech. That is the plan. Ideally... Our um, pet will do some work here and get the armor off of her, but because of attenuation, she takes insanely less damage. Yeah, this is the overall strat. The Mausolon will do okay here, but it's not fantastic as you can see. But if you want to like unload the Mausolon, it'll it'll do a little bit. It'll it'll keep you up. Like if you run out of energy, you can definitely do it. She jumped to the top floor, which is super annoying. And we don't have our jump mods, so we kind of just have to go around because we are on the absolute poverty of it all. Zenerik does work now for generating uh, energy for your Necromech. Okay. He's done a big slow on our mech, so we're going to make sure we drop Zenerik on our mech so it can regenerate some energy. Oh, our shields were off whenever we threw back and there was an AoE happening, so we did take a death, but that's okay. She's back here. Hit her with that. Make sure and hit her with the alt fire of the sea dew. She teleported to a different floor, which is super annoying. Try and hit her with all of the damage boosts. Okay. Super annoying. Just trying to jump back into the mech. She just keeps running away. Our cat is not cooperating and doing the thing at all. Pretty much worst case scenario. She teleported away again because this is the worst experience of my life. But pretty much the worst case scenario on all things here.
this point, we're just trying to prevent her from regenerating her shields as much as we can. Our cat finally stripped the armor, which should make our lives a little easier, but not a lot easier. Our mech is going to die. Okay, that killed our mech, so we'd have to wait for it to respawn. We are down again. Should be able to finish her off now. Finally. All right, yeah, that went about as bad as it could because it took forever in order for our cat to strip her armor, and also she teleported every time we had a good opportunity to deal damage to her. But this is the worst possible case scenario for a lich or for a sister. By the time you are at this point, you should never get to level five on a sister ever. They will normally be like level three, which you can kill super easily with this strategy. Also, they could always just be like different elements and such. And also, I did not end up killing this. This is this is the specter, which will remain. They are insanely hard to kill. This is like killing like it's insanely difficult this is this is them summoning you to fight you and they're like summoning you to fight you is like basically impossible to kill like it's pretty much it's pretty much outrageous like without killing them with the mech so that's that's part of the reason we kind of have to have the mech is because killing neja otherwise or killing whatever frame you bring here unless you're doing the optimal strategy which is to bring banshee and kill the sister instantly um it is gonna be rough out here yeah you can die multiple times just don't fail it. I just head back to the railjack. Oh yeah, that's the sister. It's way rougher than the liches, mostly due to you being able to get into a situation where you might have to fight you. And also the constant teleporting away to different floors on that map setup. Worst possible way it can go in any way, shape, and form. Again, don't do it solo. There's no real reason to do it solo. Just like match into it. Get at least one other person and it becomes way easier because at the very least you can be on different floors or have two Necromechs. Any number of things can make it easier. Um, but if you have nothing and you want to use the absolute dirt as a baseline for defeating them, that's what I would suggest. Yeah, there's usually someone else running this mission. Usually, you will not have to solo this, but if you have a bad connection or something, this is the way to do that on a shoestring budget with a twig and a berry.